Our bodies have biological warriors, like antibodies, which can fight a virus. And we also have T cells. These white blood cells flare up when the body is infected with the pathogen and get rid of the cells that are infected, so the body can stay healthy, says Salk immunobiologist Susan Keck. And so when the T cells see these differences, they see these bits and pieces of the virus, that actually activates them. And then they have the ability to uh, expand and multiply. The lung is where respiratory diseases like coronavirus can thrive. So Keck and her team have been studying how easily these cells can be reactivated in the lung. In studies of the influenza virus in mice, Keck and her team saw that these T cells in the lung could recognize the virus and be reactivated more easily than previously thought. There are T cells, specifically these memory T cells, that uh, are able to live for very long periods of time after the first infection. And these memory T cells can live a long term inside our lungs. T cells in other parts of the body are currently being used in some treatments for diseases like blood cancer, but they still aren't widely used. So now her team is focusing on how the research and how T cells could be safely used in vaccine design for respiratory diseases like COVID-19. A lot of the vaccines that we get, such as the childhood vaccines, they are the protection they provide are largely based on antibodies. But in some cases, we know that the, the antibodies may not be enough. Keck says it's important to use a mixture of tools against coronavirus. And she says killer T cells can have some negative side effects, like killing too many cells in the body. So she says it's important to do more studies on how to harness their power effectively. Shalina Chatlani, KPBS News.